Okay, so every week I am gonna add to this video one free earning mode from your comments. Kuroi Kenshi ga kita. Warning, incoming missile. The free download link will be in my Discord link in bio. I am Ina San and welcome back with another episode from Kai Free Model Series. And yeah, as you see today we have a lot of work to do. But before we start, the free download link will be in our Divisa Modeling Discord server. So feel free to join the server and use all the models that in this server. The Discord link will be in the bio. Okay, huh? Uh -huh. let's start with the lid. So, let's add a cube. Let's add two loop cuts here. Let's add one here. Let's add subdivision modifier. This two phases. Let's do uh, edgy, edgy creases. And control like that. Here. Let's scale. And this loop cut is. Increase the creases. Let's do a split. Plus X. Then here, let's add a loop cut. Another one here. This two. Okay, that looks good. Okay, let's do here GG. And here, plus X. Uh, and here, I'll do the loop cut like that. This one and this one. GG. GG. Oh, I got it. So here, have to be like that. See? Okay, let's start with the hand. Let's do this one. Let's add a cube. Cut it all here. With three loop cut. To here and let's add a mirror modifier. So let's keep here the spaces DJ. Now they attach to each color. And here let's choose this point and use the sphere one and GY. Let's, let's add a subdivision modifier. Here let's do control V. Set the uh, control A, apply all the transformers, then control B. Okay, and let's get it. And let's add the look for two. Go here, and go here. What if theory? That's good, and let's delete this side. And here the mirror with the X2. Here look good, and here let's get a knife tool, the draw here, and here the same, oh here we have, we have a face in here, inside of it, so let's remove the clipping, and let's select this, and here we go. Here, let's do the lead space. Then, let's do the event and do the Perfect. And then, we have the draw with our hand. Uh, look at this part. Another one. So this one, out this. And then, do it right. Okay, let's get a knife tool. Here, 
Okay, let's add a sphere from here. Let's do eight by eight. Let's fill it the downside. Let's z a little bit. Let's uh, draw it three times, four times. Let's here scale. Let's add a subdivision modifier. Is it? And look cut here. Like that. Okay. Okay. And then let's add uh, a bath gear. And let's get this to point. And use this. GY. Like that. And then extrude Y. Uh, let's add a mirror modifier. But let's uh, move the origins, GY, and do clipping, GY, now there are clipping, so a little bit of fixes, and here you can open the geometry and increase the depth, depth a little bit, and then Let's convert to mesh and move the origin and rotate X a little bit if you want. If you see it a uh, high poly model, you can use the displacement uh, modifier. Placement. Like that, I think. Cool. Let's apply. And see now it's a lot more uh, low poly and then let's add a mirror modifier for uh, each one on this one with the z okay and let's start with the handle so let's add a cylinder with eight get shift y y okay let's add a couple of loop cuts to the Inverse square, scale shift y like that. Little bit. Let's just add a loop cut and here. Let's increase the creases here. And then let's add a loop. Let's add here a loop cut. Just four. And cut roll B. Just two. And then let's select all without that and without this okay and put our b like that let's smooth it up then let's add a loop cut here and one here and then let's select if you do ctrl b here uh -huh, like that let's select this face and this one let's do loop circle but without this, let's scale it down. So if you don't know how to use the, the loop circle tool, just get here, edit, performance, and get to add ones, and just tap here, loop, and check this box. Let's add another loop cut here, and the GY a little bit. Like that. Here, let's add a loop cut. And here, shift ctrl B loop circle loop circle and here and here let's delete the solo edge let's duplicate that for here and rotate it 90 degrees and let's delete that subdivision modifier let's add plane set x 90 degrees let's delete this one and here cut all off Okay, let's keep it like that and then let's add a screw modifier on this one okay dx scale props dx and let's just duplicate here and shift dz dx dz is it we have to apply the screw here and 
dx. Let's use the smooth gz and lz. Don't delete this one. So let's choose this one and do mesh separate selection and let's apply for this one and the dx. Let's move the origin and GY. Okay, let's duplicate it. And this is it. And for now, I think I finished the modeling part. Okay, and let's start with the coloring part. First thing, first of Let's add the okay. This part is metal, so metallic and okay. And another one it's gonna be black. Get to here three for face. Let's look at the this faces. And this little one here a sign and your body here if you do a sign so this one and this one a sign sign bro sign I think this one metal and this one have this color but it's the it's roughness and for that, on this, all of this, so let's do Ctrl uh, L, link materials. Okay, let's get to shading and give this some uh, noisy material. So let's get to shading, shift A, textures, noise texture, and Ctrl T for this too. If you don't know how uh, to use this uh, shortcut, just get here, edit performance, and get to advance, and here. Just tap node and check this box. And then let's connect them and let's add color, color, color ramp. Connect it. So cool, so cool. Okay, okay. I don't think this texture looks uh, cool. So let's delete it and add a vernal texture. And then let's do here. 4D and here distance to edge and just like that let's put here there 30 and look how different and cool it looks actually just the sort textures like that and we can use that on the bump too so cool the blade texture here give it a darker color and also to have another noise so shift a mix but here five let's uh, put here uh, darken let's connect just this for now okay this material more darker and it have with texture and Ctrl T color ROM and replace this color let's put that one Rotation Z90 okay it's uh, like that okay 
Do it like that. Okay, here one. Okay, let's increase the details here too. Okay, and the bomb. Not so much. Okay, let's add a wave texture. So texture wave here and Tetra D. Let's add a mix of D. Let's connect them and shift D. Okay. Okay, and let's add the resident texture. So Tetra D for this one. And here rotate Z90 degrees. Color one. Let's put here a black color, minus 90. Okay, like that. Okay, let's uh, duplicate that and connect here. And connect here. Okay, here the color boron. See? It's gonna be, it's gonna be like a effect like that okay I think I finished the model so as you see the sword is so as you see today's model was gut sword and if you like my work you can download it for free from our DVZ modeling discord server the discord link will be in the bio and yeah, if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel because that's the best way you can help me. And yeah, that's the model was for this week. See you in the next week. Whoop, whoop, bangangam style. Whoop, 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 bangangam style. That's it, guys. Jana.